Hello friends, it's Miss Kristen from the Camber County Library. I had so much fun last week with the book that Toucan brought us from the library that I asked them to come back again. I think I hear some feathers flapping now. Knock knock! Hello Toucan! It's so nice to see you today. Did you bring us a new book from the library? I did! I did! I did! I have it here tucked under my wing. Hold on! <gasps> I wonder what book Toucan brought from the library for us today. <gasps> here you go! Corduroy, I love this book. I think our friends at home will like this book too. Thank you! You're welcome! Gotta run! I want a cake in the oven! Bye-bye! <gasps> Bye! I bet that cake's gonna be delicious. Are you ready for a story? Here we go. Corduroy by Don Freeman. Corduroy was a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning a little girl stopped in and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the fairy bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them. They sadly walked away. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf. He began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto the escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs, lamps and sofas, and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he crawled into the large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button. And off the mattress, corduroy toppled. Bang! Right into a tall floor lamp. Over it went with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Someone must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank 
and my mother said, I can bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment, straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a new button on his overalls. I like the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa. And she gave him a big hug. The end.